the future of Formula One shown again this week in Bahrain with two thrilling races. We had some things we were pretty sure they would happen, but on the other hand, we also had some huge surprises in Sakir. So here are the first top three and flop three of the 2015 GP2 season. Top three goes to RRT Grand Prix. They really did the good operation in the championship, with two podiums on the feature race and on the sprint race. They secured the first place in the championship, way ahead of the main opponents. Top two goes to Rio Harriento. He got his first victory in GP2 in the best way possible, showing that he will not let himself overshadowed by his teammate, which is one of the most important in GP2. And he clearly gives Campos Racing a lot of confidence for the next races, willing to get more victories than last year, when they only had one thanks to Alter Pick in Hungary. And top one goes to Stoffel van Dorn. Almost the perfect weekend for the Belgian driver. He started 2015 like he handed 2014. On top, he broke his own record of successive two balls, which released it to five, and did a hat trick on race one with a not so good strategy after the safety car, and managed to get second on race two. He also had benefits from his main opponent's problem, like Marcello, Lynn and Gasly, which makes me wonder who would be able to catch Stoffel van Dorn this year. Here are the flops and we're starting with flop 3 which goes to Sergio Canamasas. His reputation isn't to be made anymore as a crash kid, even if he had seemed to calm himself after being black flagged in Monza last year. He showed that even as a last minute driver, he was still dangerous. He should follow Johnny Cecotto Jr's example of last year, but for the moment he just isn't and um, he isn't going to make a lot of friends this year if he keeps on like this. Flop 2 goes to Norman Nato. I could have joined him with Kalamensis but the, his situation is a bit different. Not a lot of people know him, or at least only as Carlos Sainz Jr teammate last year. And the crash he goes in race 1 involving pretenders to the victory with big Marcello and Gasly won't give him a good reputation for his first year in GP2. He could save his honour with a good race too, but he hope, we hope that this kind of stupid accident won't happen again. Flop 1 goes to Dams Racing. It has been a terrible weekend for the French team. Gasly involved in a crash in race 1 and Lynn having problems. No points on race 2, Gasly really out of base compared to Lin and Pick until his teammates got problems as well. The lowest crucial points to ART and Stoffel van Dorn, but to be honest I can't think they will do um, worse and they will bounce back in Barcelona. Picture of the weekend is Stoffel van Dorn shining alone on top of the GP2 championship, or at least just for Bahrain. So this is the end of the first GP2 vlog of the year. Thank you for watching and I see you in three weeks for the results of the Spanish Grand Prix. Like, share and subscribe and see you until the check it flag.